how's it going welcome back to the channel today we got a little something different going on we got a lot of rain these past couple days the river's really high and muddy fish aren't really biting too well in the lakes but lucky for me i got a couple boxes i know y'all know what this is right here beside me spring sales going on at tackle warehouse so i took advantage got me a new rod a couple baits and i had some gift cards that i've been saving up to little tackle shops around town so got a bunch of baits we're going to unbox a reel in here a rod from tackle warehouse let's get into it i'm gonna try to start with the more entertaining items first so we'll go ahead and get this rod tube out of the way because i'm pretty excited about this as well the sale that was going on at tackle warehouse oh got your sticker when you spend over fifty dollars turn label receipt so first up we have the 13 fishing almond black 3 this is the 610 medium light and with the sales and everything going on I got this rod for right at $80 it's normally 120 so can't beat that i needed another little spinning rod for finesse applications um i'm not gonna do a review on this rod in this video just because i can't but i could tell you my first impressions seems actually a little stiffer than i would have imagined but i mean it's a medium light and I also don't have any reel or anything on it so can't judge that too much yet it's fairly light i do i really like the lock nut I definitely like that style of lock nut. Full cork. I'm a big fan of cork. Seems like fairly nice cork. I mean, nothing crazy about the fit and finish, but I mean, it's a nice little rod. We'll go ahead and get into these boxes now. I'm just going to dump them all out. Now that box, I actually did not get from Tackle Warehouse. Next up, bang, that's the reel. Corrado, Shimano Corrado, MGL 150. This is a new reel. Been wanting to get my hands on one and finally did. Actually, I did not get this from Tackle Warehouse either. This was a Valentine's Day gift, so. Just a sweet, sweet reel. Oh yeah. Super smooth out of the package. Click and drag, big fan of that. No click on the tension knob, but really wasn't expecting that at Shimano. Very excited about this reel. Been wanting to get my hands on this for a while. This is the uh, 150XG. So this is the 8.1 gear ratio. I'm probably going to be pairing this up with a 7.2 medium heavy X Pride as just kind of a all around do it all combo. Um, I'm a very big fan of the 7.2 X Pride. I throw that rod for a lot of applications. And from what I've heard on this reel, you can do the exact same with it. Very versatile reel. So the reason why I got XG, I'm a, I'm a big fan of higher gear ratio. I believe out of my whole entire arsenal of rod and reels, I only have two that are six speeds. And one of those is, they're actually they're both on cranking rods. So everything else I throw seven or eight speeds. I'd rather slow down and speed up. That's just how I go. Corrado 150, MGL, cool deal. Now, like I said, I'm not gonna be doing reviews on this rod or this reel in this video, just my initial impressions. Um, I'm gonna get my hands on them and fish them before I do a full review. Start next up, some Yozuri uh, Top Knot Mainline is 16 pound. I'm gonna spool this up on that Corrado. Um, been using that line for a few months now. Haven't had any major issues with it. Uh, in the reviews, a lot of people highly disapprove of that line. Um, a lot of people have a lot of problems with it, they say. I haven't had any problems with it and it's cheap, so I'm gonna run it until it shows me not to. 
All right, we'll get some of these soft plastics out the way. Just some Zoom white trick worms. Nothing crazy about that. Just use these like a floating worm. It's pretty much all I use the white for. Next up, Zoom Z crawls. These are the full size and just white or a white pearl, I'm sorry. Um, these are gonna be good for bed fishing coming up here in a little bit. Uh, using as chatter baits, swim jig trailers, all that good stuff. All right, swim baits. We got some 3.75 inch Raid Swimmers and Green Pumpkin Pearl. Love those, those are the same thing. Throw those on an underspin, EWG or an underspin head. Chatterbait trailer, swim jig trailer, spinnerbait trailer, whatever. And then next up we have some, these are the Kitek Easy Shiner, three inch. Drop shot those, throw those on a, a Mega Bass Okashira head, the screw heads, um, just on a real small little ball head jig, do all kind of things with that. Three packs of flukes, two packs of just regular old Zoom, super salty, super fluke. That's baby bass and albino, just good springtime soft plastics. And the next we got the Strike King KVD caffeine shads. These are just watermelon seed, just pretty much just a green pumpkin. I like these over the Zoom. These are a lot more dense, have a lot more salt. They're a lot heavier. You can cast them further and they sink a lot faster. So that's why I just got these along with the Zoom flukes. And then we have some Guggen 5 inch lunker logs. Got these from a little place here in town. Figured I'd try them out. Had a gift card there. I, I'm a big fan of all the other Guggen plastics, but I've never used the lunker logs just because. I've always used Yamamoto. Got some Rage Tail, Rage Crawls, just June Bug. Those are just all around great crawls. Texas Rig, Jig Trailer, Swim Jig, Chatterbait Trailer. You know, flip them, pitch them, skip them, whatever. Great crawls. Next, we got the Crawl Father and Super Bug. I love these, same deal. Just a great all around crawl. And these are a little different. I'll take these out and show you if you don't know about them. These are really small. These aren't very big, just a little small. Not a great big wide, but a real tight, fast kick on those claws. Great for Texas rigging in these colder waters, just for a little small Texas rig. The next, these are the Gambler, the Gambler Buzzing Cane Toad. Just like a topwater horny toad deal. Never tried the Gambler ones. Figured I'd try them out. Some three. There's some four and five aught Gamakatsu EWG Super Lines just for Texas rigging and stuff. Those are great. Some one eighth ounce tungsten VMC. This is what my little local tackle shop carries. And these things are super cheap, so I got them. Again, some five aught VMC. Um, just a little underspin, weedless underspins. These were a dollar, so I figured why not. These, I actually wanted to try these out. These are the VMC uh, round bin shaky head, and they don't have a screw lock. They just have a little wire keeper on there. And I really want to try these out because I've been trying to find a shaky head that works better for the Elastec plastic worms and stuff. I tried the Brian Latimer, uh, the Z-Man SMH heads. Did not like them. The hooks on those are garbage. Figured I'd try these out. Uh, Berkeley Fusion underspin, 3 8 ounce, natural herring color, nothing special about that. Love these underspins, they're amazing, great hook, uh, great quality blade and all that, components, holds up real nice. And then some VMC 7 aught. Um, these are just like beast hooks, they're just HD swim bait hooks. And to go along with these, these actually go with something else that I have stored in this box these here. here are a new bait from Huddleston. It's the 68 hollow body and phantom, phantom Texas gizzard shad. And what's different about these, these are the same exact profile, plastic material and everything as your regular God, dog, if I can get it out. 
they are the same everything as a regular 68 hud but they are completely weedless there is no harness nothing in there and they come with a weedless with an owner weightless beast hook and some nail weights but i think i'm gonna put those weighted swim bait hooks in there but these I, these are going to be killer this spring i'm gonna smash on these i can tell you right now i'm on one of these they're gonna stick me a big in this spring we'll go ahead and get this box out of the way too this is just a plano 3700 full custom this one's got a bunch of little tiny slits for you to put your to make different compartments and stuff so you can make compartments wherever you want instead of every couple inches like it's used to be in one of my local tackle stores simmons and bessemer was having an insane sale on z-man jackhammers six dollars so i got five of them four stealth blades one regular got a three eighths fire crawl jackhammer a 3 8 stealth blade and clear water shad a stealth blade and green pumpkin shad 3 8 as well these are all 3 8 another clear water shad and 3 8 and then spot remover i'm a big big fan of this color right here the spot remover color is amazing and then this is this is something new that i wanted to try this is the cross size chatterbait and it's got a little weed guard on there that they say is adjustable and if you throw chatterbaits a lot you know they don't like wood they're phenomenal around grass but wood not so much got a booyah bankroll jig uh this is the wild card color three eighth ounce i like these bankroll jigs they're great for skipping they got a real short but very stout hook on those so you could trim that uh skirt up real short and you can make a really compact skipping profile out of that and i really like it and then this is just a strike king uh tour grade finesse jig with the little football head that's three eighth ounce love that dude this is the ike's mini swim jig i've uh, never saw this thing it's three sixteenths of an ounce and I really like that color. That's a really, really small, compact, light swim jig. And I figured that'd probably crush in some of these grassy ponds around here that are real shallow. So I'm gonna try that one out. Next, Simmons also had the amazing sale that had the sale on the jackhammers, had an amazing sale on these live target sunfish, $5. So I got one of the full size um, that's the natural green bluegill color love these things some people don't like them i love them i've caught a lot of fish on these they walk easier than any frog i've ever found ever and next uh kvd frog and tiger black the sexy frog and tiger black uh, nothing special about that one either these frogs aren't the best but they're decent and so if i'm just throwing one on top of some nasty slop where I'm not gonna be able to walk it or much anyways. You know, you're just kind of moving that frog across that slop. I'll throw one of these. They got good hooks, you know, whatever. Uh, KVD Sexy Dog Spook. That is the clear water minnow color. That's the full size Sexy Dog. This is this is my all time favorite spook ever. Not this color, the, the regular bone is my favorite color spook ever, but the KVD Sexy Dog is by far my favorite spook. And the next, I saw this in my little local deal. Figured I'd try it out. This is the uh, River to Sea Chris Lane Top Notch 130. And it's just like a whopper plopper. But this dude has two props on the back of him instead of just one like the whopper plopper. He's got a little different nose. He's got some... See, he's got two props back there. And that's a hard plastic prop. No, it's not. It's the same prop as the Whopper Plopper. And he's got a little cup up front with a mouth on him. So I don't know what he's going to do. Red eye shads, both half ounce. We got a gold sexy shad and a chartreuse bait fish. 
There's the gold. I mean, y'all can see. But love those. Love the uh, red eye shad. Bandit 300. This is one of my all time favorite crankbaits. The 300. That's an 8 to 12 footer. I do a lot of cranking in the 8 to probably 15, 16 foot range. And this is one of my favorite baits to do that with. You go really, really fast with this bandit and stop it, and it'll float up, and they crush it. This is an amazing, and cold water, too, this time of the year. Late winter, early spring, they crush this. Following thing. on with that, this is the Berkeley Money Badger 6.75 in blaze color. Uh, I was watching another guy on YouTube by the name of Alex Rudd talk about this thing, and he's been absolutely crushing on it. And figured I'd pick one up, try it out. I'm a big, I mean, I like the color. That's a great color. like the sound of it. Great sounding rattles. I think that's going to be a good one. And then lastly, got a Strike King 5XD. Like I said, I do a lot of that 8 to 12 to 15 foot stuff. This 5XD you'll hit right at 15, 16 foot on 12 pound test. This is one of them. This is probably my second favorite bait to crank that depth with besides the Bandit. That bandit's a lot smaller, faster of a deal. And this is a lot larger, wider. And I fish this one a lot slower than I do that bandit. This is the Chartreuse Blue Black Spatterback. I didn't know they made this color in the 5XD. I knew they made it in the KVD 1.5 square bill. And for muddy water, that color in that square bill is one of my favorite colors. So I think this will do good in some muddier water out deeper. Next up, Series 5 Strike King Pro Model Crankbait. This is the Tennessee, this is the Tennessee Shad color. This is an 8 to 12 foot. This lake behind me right here, this crankbait absolutely murders out here. This natural kind of, this Tennessee Shad color is just an all around bait fish pattern, you know. Don't exactly look like a shad, don't exactly look like a bluegill. This thing is money, especially in these clear water lakes that have a lot of bluegill and shad. You can't go wrong with this color at all. Love it. And that's going to do it for today, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, share it. Um, we're trying to grow this channel. I'm going to make further videos reviewing the um, this MGL 150 and this new 13 fishing rod. So look out for those here in the future. And that'll do it for today, y'all. Hope you enjoyed it. See y'all next time.